can you guys smell something in the air? Sometimes before it snows, you can smell the snow in the air. And so Christmas is so near to us now, I can almost smell Christmas. Hello everyone, it's Father Chiwan from St. Michael's. It's always good to, good to meet you. Um, I, I miss you guys, we, you're always in my prayers. Last Sunday, Father Joe spoke about the four candles of the Advent, Advent wreath. And this Sunday, we lit all of them, all, all four candles. The first two candles, the, the two violet candles, we lit waiting for Christ with faith and hope. The third candle, last Sunday, the rose-colored candle we lit with joy, we rejoiced. And now the, the last one, last one, we light the candle with love, with love. We call this special love, we Catholics call it charity. The ch this charity is not love just as feeling in our hearts or a thoughts in our mind. Charity is love made visible. Love are made real by giving ourselves to another person. So now let us listen and hear how God made his love real for us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of King David. The angel greeted Mary and said, You are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you, and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will make him king, as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How can this happen? I am not married. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come down to you, and God's power will come over you. And so your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is also going to have a son, even though she is old. No one thought she could ever have a baby, but in three months she will have a son. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel reading, we just heard how Angel Gabriel came to Mary and announced the good news. Mary was just a young girl and was not married. But the angel told her that she would be the mother of God. Can you imagine that? It was a good news for the world that the Son of God is coming to become the new king. But was it, was it a good news for Mary? Because it meant that she would have to give up a lot of things for herself, even at her young age. The second thing the angel told her was that her old cousin was pregnant and needed her help. Sometimes it is not easy to love because it means giving up our times, our attentions, and sometimes even our money and our possessions. And that's why the angel told Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary. And he also said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Jesus comes to become our family so we can be God's family. As God's family, you and I have the power of God's love in our souls. But you must use that power to prove it, to make it real. Think about making this year's Christmas special, not for yourself, but for another member of your family. 
give up your fun time. Put down your Nintendo or whatever you have. Put down your iPad for a minute and pray for someone who needs your prayer right now. Pray for someone hungry, cold, lonely, sad, or even afraid right now. Call your grandparents, somebody in your family, distant family you haven't talked for a while. Call them. Tell them how much you love them. Find a way to help the poor by donating some of your allowance, if you have some. Make your love real, as God made his love real by coming to us as the son of Mary and our brother. The young Mary said, yes, and so can you. So my brothers and sisters, boys and girls, I pray that our Father fill your home with his peace, joy, and his love this Christmas season. It's always good to, good to meet you, even through the internet, and I hope to see you all very soon in the church. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone.